Because of the high fire danger, PG&E has shut off power to thousands of customers in Napa and Sonoma counties. KPI X5's Wilson Walker is live in Calistoga for us right now. Wilson? Well, Liz, anyone who lives, I don't know, really anywhere between Calistoga and Santa Rosa has been through these power shutoffs, what, a half dozen times, maybe more. So the same communities keep getting wrapped up in this. So power goes out today. A lot of people like it or not, they know the drill. Hanging in there. Could be worse. Could I be mean, worse. we could be evacuated. It, we could be evacuated. <laughs> at least we still have a house and our health, and um, it's not as hot today, thank God. When the lights went out at about 3 o'clock this morning, Yvette Williford and her family were ready. I guess so. We've been doing this since 2017. We're getting pretty good at it. I am ready this year. <laughs> the easternmost neighborhoods of Santa Rosa have been through this so many times now that the city has a routine for major intersections and residents have a routine for keeping their refrigerators cold. Okay, my son and I bought this generator together. He lives a block away from me down the street. So we just share it back and forth about every four hours. This is the last hill and they've been burnt, you know, coming over Calistoga during the Tups fires. So, yeah, we're definitely concerned about the winds. And Tiger White says the power frustrations here also come with the unease of fire risk. It's a whole new crazy world out there right now with the fires and the pandemic and everything. And a whole lot of people got stressed. And I'm probably one of them. A stressful situation now on repeat for this part of the Bay Area. Yeah, that's uh, it's annoying, but from what they say, they're going to shrink the grids down so they don't have to have so many people without power for so long. 